Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. We will continue our discussion. We are still under the discussion on unemployment. Our focus today is to discuss the first part as shown in the outline here that is on a stock flow model of the labor market. Jumping straight to the relevant slide here, when we want to understand the issue of unemployment, we need to look at the flow of workers in the job market. To understand the flow of workers in the job market, let's move straight to this diagram and in this diagram, we can call this diagram as the stock flow model or labor market stock and flow. In constructing this model, it involves a duration from May to June, which is short. It is better to have longer span of period like one year, even three years, five years. You will find that the period chosen in constructing this flow matters in telling us the steady state unemployment level. Just note the word steady state unemployment level. The longer the period, the more we can understand about the steady state unemployment level in the economy. What do we mean by steady state? It is the long run position of the labor market. But here, because we have a very short period, just between May to June, which is uh, one month, it doesn't tell us much about the steady state in the long run. Now, moving to this diagram. The stock flow model is constructed by having three boxes here. And the first box here indicates the level of employment in the economy as shown in this box. We are having the number of workers because this data is in the United States. We can say that there are about 144.4 million workers in the United States who are employed between May to June 2013. That's what it tells us for the first box so this is on the second box here down below this box shows the level of unemployment reading from this box we find that they are about 11.3 million workers in the united states who are unemployed between may to june 2013 The third box shows us the number of workers who are not in the labor force. There are about 89.6 million workers who are not in the labor force. Note that these two boxes, employed and unemployed, made up the category that we call those in the labor force employed plus unemployed made up the those who are in the labor force and this the last one the third box here is those who are not in the labor force few quick things to make you quickly understand what's going on as explained in the textbook or even in this diagram uh, the notation here is important i will denote capital e number of people who are employed and capital U to denote the number of people who are unemployed and capital N to denote the number of people who are not in the labor force. So we use the capital letter to denote the three boxes here. Therefore, going back to the previous slide, if you see here, if we find the explanation tell us that U and the arrow here points to E, so I'm talking about this point, U to E means here, this shows the movement of those who are unemployed to employed. The second one, as shown here, now we find that the arrow is pointing from E, capital E, to capital U. So this shows the movement from those who are first employed and they now become unemployed. And the rest, I hope you can figure out by yourself. From that understanding, let's focus on this 
arrow first arrow here first they are unemployed now they become employed so by notation we can show this is about you then they now be move to employed okay so that's how we can describe the first arrow i want to explain this notation what is this this is a very interesting information derived from this model and it is very useful in fact p we can call it the fraction the percentage if we change it to percentage number so we can say p u e now we write this subscript in small letter but the idea is that this shows the fraction of workers who first are unemployed now they become employed therefore this fraction we can sum up as fraction of those who get employment and the figure shows here is 0 0.180 by the way this is important okay how to get PUE and the fraction here very simple you just take PUE is given by the number of people who now become employed how many we find here they are about 2.2 million as shown here this is the number of people who now from unemployed they become employed so they are about 2.2 million of them and to get the fraction divide by where they came from they are first unemployed so we find those unemployed how many 11.3 so therefore to get the fraction we divide by 11.3 so this is how we get the number now if you calculate this what you will get i hope you have your calculator with you and try to get the number that we have calculated is not the same as this one you can check the textbook the figure for the stock flow diagram in the textbook when they show this diagram the number that they put is different than the number that you see in the slide so be careful on that in fact if you use the, the figure given in this slide and you calculate you see even the, the this information is not correct because they are actually they derive this using different figures not the figures shown here now this is the correct one this is the correct one okay so note that if you want to calculate uh, the fraction this is how you do it so i have shown you the first one therefore we can actually do for the rest of the arrows here just to give you another example let's pick this one okay because this is given and therefore easily we can see whether the number here is correct or not just spoiler alert this is not correct if you do the calculation given the numbers that we have in the slide now what this point tell us this is about the movement from those employed then they become not in the labor force this category could be like for those who become uh, tired of looking for jobs after some period of time they have given up for job search then in that category they move from unemployed into the category of not in the labor force how many of them as shown here you end unemployed then become not interested and then join the not in labor force there are about 2.3 million of them then what's the fraction so this is given by this arrow and if we take this arrow to calculate this this is how you do it pun is given by the number of those who are no longer interested to find jobs they, they become not in the labor force how many 2.3 divide by our reference they come from this box 11.3 you'll get 0.2 so the fraction is about so this is the number and again we find that our calculation is you know this one is the data that they use to derive this one actually is not as as based on this slide be careful on that uh, what this information tell us it tells us that between may to june 2013 about 20% of those unemployed become not in the labor force category so that's how we can interpret 
the fraction here because there are six arrows we can do the same for the rest of this this one i will not show the calculation but i just want to guide you uh, for this arrow the third arrow here it's pointing from those employed then they become unemployed if you want to derive the fraction so we can call this fraction as p e u because first they are from employment box then they get to the unemployment box how to calculate this you take this figure we know that those employed who then become unemployed there are about 2.2 million of them so we, you take 2.2 million you divide by this box 144.4 million that's how we get this fraction that's about how we construct the stock flow model of the labor market and i have shown you the way how uh, we can calculate the fraction of each of the movement of the labors in the labor market i will see you in the next session we will continue with this model to understand further application of this model thank you very much wassalam